welcome all to the next section here here we'll be discussing the other available sketching tools okay uh, now we'll go to the spline curve here this option can be used to create a spline curves spline curves is also a very commonly used form of a line curved lines to draw the sketches okay uh, as usual please uh, wherever you want uh, click on and uh, and make an other click so that you will be creating a spline curve so make the third click and make the fourth click so that similarly by hovering the mouse you can create the spline curve as per your wish so you can also create a closed one by closing the loop okay once you have finished click on the middle scroll button of the mouse and you can see that the section has been section has been closed the it has been highlighted in a pink color so by using this you can create the section create the spline curves okay we will be the next uh, goes the uh, fillet fillet and chamfers are very much useful when you are creating the rectangles so click on the center rectangle a rectangle of uh, random dimensions uh, click escape you will be dealing with the closed curve so uh, for the fillet click on the fillet option and just choose the two sides of the rectangle you can see that the round of 2.2 dimension has been created similarly you can choose the other options other sites okay for this one the 1.89 can is used you can yeah, for chamfer uh, follow the same procedure click on the chamfer click on the both two sides where you want to create you can see that the chamfers has been created similarly for the uh, last corner the chamfer has been created okay Similarly, you can create uh, or for any other squares or rectangles, uh, similar objects. Okay. Click escape. Now we can uh, move towards how we can insert the sketch. Click on the sketch and just like the introducing uh, text bar, MS Office, and uh, PowerPoint. Similarly, first draw the uh, draw the line where you want to insert. Uh, uh, I, once you have done you will be opening the text dialog box click on the text uh, uh, word pen uh, and enter the text which you want to display and just randomly type uh, hello okay click ok you can see that uh, according to the uh, drawn line the text will be displayed okay next one is the very interesting one is the offset for offsetting uh, we need to use a rectangle or a circle option first we start with a rectangle draw the rectangle with a random dimension okay offset is a kind where we will be uh, duplicating the duplicating a pre-existing sketch okay this is a very basic definition of the offset so first click on the offset uh, okay uh, here it's uh, type says select offset edge single chain or loop okay and now we are going to choose the single one uh, now enter offset in the direction of the arrow okay now uh, this is the arrow direction okay uh, we are going to create an offset away from the available rectangle so the arrow has been uh, indicated with the away arrow mark if you want we can't change the direction symbol over here if you want to inside you need to enter minus direction now first we will be seeing away I'm going to uh, okay, give the dimension as 2 okay, 2 mm click ok you can see that uh, this edge has been offset 2 mm away from the uh, rectangle if you want to repeat the same click on this edge we can create an exception here if you want to I want the offset to be inside the rectangle but the direction is away so I don't need away I want I need inside the rectangle so uh, 
okay, just introduce the negative negative indicates opposite so negative two. you can see that the, uh, the same line of the equal dimension has been created inside the rectangle so uh, similarly you can uh, create anything uh, similar offsetting options you can choose okay uh, now we will be seeing the offset option for the circle just click the circle and create the circle with a uh, random dimension diameter okay once you are finished uh, click again the offset option uh, it is away so i want the circle of uh, away uh, of 3 mm you can see that uh, here the dimension of smaller circle is 14 and the dimension of the bigger circle is 20 so uh, the difference is uh, 6 so the diameter difference is 6 so the radius is the radius uh, difference is 3 so uh, which indicates that the whatever the dimension dimension you are giving it is uh, with respect to radius it is not with respect to the diameter okay please uh, make a note of it click close okay uh, now we have seen the basic things uh, of the uh, sketching toolbars okay uh, we have completed uh, almost 80 percentage of the sketching toolbars the remaining one we'll be discussing in the next session this brings the end of the session